A few days ago, the authoritative American newspaper Politico declared in its article that after Vladimir Putin's statement that Russia would give a tough response to NATO countries in case of allowing Western long-range missiles to be launched on targets inside Russian territory, real turmoil began to emerge in diplomatic and military circles of Britain, the United States, and the European Union. According to the American newspaper, everything that is happening indicates that Putin's warnings may force the top leadership of NATO and the Pentagon to change their minds about allowing Ukraine to use Western long-range missiles against military targets inside Russia. My friends, let me remind you that a few days ago, the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, officially stated that the West's permission to use its long-range precision weapons against targets inside Russian territory would be regarded by Moscow as the entry of NATO, including the United States and European countries, into an open conflict with Russia. Vladimir Putin explained his words by the fact that the Ukrainian army is simply physically unable to control Western long-range weapons. According to him, only military personnel of the armies of NATO member countries are loading the flight task into the head of the missile guidance. If they start using Western long-range missiles, it will mean that NATO, European countries, and the United States have entered the war against Russia. This will change the very essence of the current conflict. We will make appropriate decisions based on the new threats that will be created for Russia, Vladimir Putin said. Commenting on the words of the Russian president, Western experts and analysts noted that this cooled down the hotheads in Washington and London, and that they took Vladimir Putin's threats seriously. According to experts from numerous Western think tanks, the Russian leader personally drew a red line, the crossing of which would be a fatal mistake for Western countries. Indeed, it seems that many in Washington and London have finally begun to realize the seriousness and gravity of the situation. Unfortunately for the Kiev regime, the West has not yet given its permission to use long-range weapons systems against military targets inside Russian territory. Against this backdrop, former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson arrived in Kiev again and called on the current British authorities not to wait for Washington's final decision over this issue. According to him, Britain should independently allow Ukraine to use Storm Shadow cruise missiles against military targets inside the territory of the Russian Federation. Moreover, Boris Johnson's statement was also supported by five former British defense ministers. According to them, London should allow Kiev to use Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles even without US approval. At the same time, it is worth noting that British journalists from the UK Defence Journal also fully supported the statement of former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. According to them, Putin's threats and the red line drawn by him are just a bluff. British journalists expressed confidence that Russia will not strike at NATO countries, even if the Ukrainian army begins to use Western long-range missiles against military installations inside Russia. British journalists explained this by the fact that NATO has been involved in the current conflict in Ukraine since February 2022, although back in April 2021, Russia warned that it would not allow the North Atlantic Alliance to help the Ukrainian army. They also noted that in 2023, Russia threatened NATO countries over the supply of Western multiple launch rocket systems, tanks, and fighter jets to the armed forces of Ukraine. However, all Moscow's threats turned out to be empty words, British journalists said. According to them, the Ukrainian army's invasion of the Kursk region once again confirmed the fact that all of Russia's threats and warnings were a real bluff. Well, my friends, seeing such statements by British journalists, it becomes clear that Russia's unwillingness to start World War III with nuclear Armageddon is perceived in the West as Moscow's weakness. And the scariest thing is that not only British journalists, but also many high-ranking politicians and top officials of the Foggy Albion argue this way. Many British politicians are really convinced that Russia's threats are a bluff, and that Moscow will never dare to attack NATO countries, including the United Kingdom.
Well, it looks like Russia really will have to deliver a demonstration strike at one of the NATO countries, so that the West finally understands that Moscow's threats must be taken seriously. It seems that the Kremlin itself understands this perfectly well. So, a few hours ago it became known that on September 12, 2024, at least three Russian nuclear submarines of the Project 885 Yazin, of the Russian Northern Fleet, armed with Zircon hypersonic missiles, left their home base at Severomorsk Naval Base, and headed towards the Atlantic Ocean. According to the authoritative military expert Mikhail Kotarnok, these Russian nuclear submarines left their home base and headed toward the Atlantic Ocean for a reason. Especially considering the fact that this happened at the very moment when the West began to declare that it would allow Ukraine to use its long-range weapons against military installations inside Russia. The expert expressed confidence that these Russian nuclear submarines are already off the coast of Britain and are waiting for the order to attack. According to him, if the British Storm Shadow cruise missiles fly toward Russia, these submarines will destroy the facilities of the British division of the Pan-European Missile Systems Company MBDA in Stevenage, Bristol, and Bolton. Let me remind you that it is the weapon company MBDA that produces Storm Shadow cruise missiles in Britain. Citing his own sources in the Russian Defense Ministry, the expert also confirmed that Russia has a clear plan to deter NATO from retaliatory actions. According to him, immediately after the destruction of the facilities of weapon company MBDA, inside the United Kingdom, Russia will launch a demonstration nuclear strike on one of the areas of the Atlantic Ocean or the North Sea, near the coast of Britain. Military expert Mikhail Kotarnok expressed confidence that only after this, NATO and the British authorities will finally understand that it is time for them to stop escalating the situation over Ukraine since the next time a nuclear strike can already be inflicted on London, Brussels, and Washington.